Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Star Trek Online. Twitch app open. Been uh, trying to do like a little bit of cleaning this morning. Uh, my dog kept getting in my trash though, and I was trying to clean up. So that was a bit frustrating. And, uh, yeah, just before I started streaming, I noticed that, um, Mahler, uh, one of the YouTubers I watch, was streaming the Dead Space remake again. On impossible, uh, difficulty. So it's like, God damn it! <laughs> now I'm missing a live! Oh well, that's fine. Uh, so, last we left off, we were about to do surface tension. <clears throat> Recent events have underscored the, the threat posed by the Undine. The native species of fluidic space, these aliens have infiltrated galactic powers, including the Federation, by using their shape-shifting and telepathic abilities. In an attempt to form an, to form a united front against the in, in an attempt to form a united front against this threat, I have called for a summit to discuss the means by which the various governments of the Alpha and Beta Quadrants can detect and neutralize the Undine presence. The location for the talks will be the Genola and Dyson Sphere. Control of the uh, control of this site is currently under dispute by the Federation, the Klingon Empire, and the Romulan Republic. However, I believe the, that access to the sphere should be a secondary concern to that of the threat of the Undine. Your experiences in the field may prove to provide a valuable perspective, as well as a moderating influence. Please attend as a representative of the Federation. Starfleet has lost too many ships, and too many good men and women, to a fight we now know was caused by Iconian and Undine influence. That's an old uniform. Is that... An Iconian gateway? Yes. And there's the old gateways. Into the gateway. Now! Are all those markers Iconian gateways? Sir, we've been scanning the gateway. The monitors on the bridge are all showing an Omega. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant. We are within the Solanae Dyson Sphere, a spherical structure built around a star. We now know why the sphere generates vast amounts of Omega particles. It is designed to use those particles as fuel to jump to any area of space. It now appears that the Genolan Sphere has the same jump capabilities as the Solanae, and move to this location. You're not, Cooper. We will repel the Undine, and survive to warn the Alpha Quadrant of the new threat. The Undine are a threat to us all. I propose a summit. We must decide together what we must do to protect the Alpha Quadrant. Our disputes may need to be put aside in the face of a greater enemy.
Seeing those old uniforms is just so strange. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant. I will admit that I did not expect to be here with Voyager again. It is agreeable. Thank you for agreeing to attend this conference and supporting my position on the Undine. However, reaching a consensus today will be difficult. Many different agendas will be represented here today. I will speak to you in person shortly. Tuvok out. Welcome to the Janolan Dyson Sphere. Please beam down to these coordinates. Oh, what? Why? I have no idea why. Oh, it's because I was messing with my volume. That's why. I've got my volume keys also. Uh, puts me into aiming mode. Good to see you. I'd say you're right on time, but it looks like everyone else wants to be fashionably late. We're still finishing preparations for the conference, and Admiral Tuvok is already there. The Klingon and Romulan delegates will arrive soon, so we should head inside as soon as you're ready. Lead on, Captain. I say lead on, but I'm going to be running ahead of them. Thank you for joining us here. We need assistance with preparations for the conference. The Romulan and Klingon delegations are still in private deliberations, but other delegates are arriving. Several preliminary tasks remain before we can begin the presentation. Your support in this matter would be appreciated. Where do you want me posted, sir? Where do you want me posted, sir? Where do you want me posted, sir? This Cardassian thug is trying to push Bajor out of this conference. We have as much of a right to be represented here as any other world. More than the Cardassians. They're not even part of the Federation or the Klingon Empire. Please remain calm. What's the basis of this dispute? I simply inquired about the Ambassador's presence at the conference. After all, Bajor is a member of the Federation. Ambassador Sugihara is capable of representing them, along with the Deltans, Andorians, Vulcans, and everyone else, even the Tellarites. Though, I suspect they'd argue that point rather robustly. That's an unfair characterization. The Bajorans have let, have had a gateway to the Gamma Quadrant in their space for decades. We value their experience and their opinion. Indeed. One wonders how well that gateway would have fared if Deep Space Nine was of Bajoran manufacture rather than Cardassian. The Federation's track record on wormhole security is far from ideal. One only needs to consider the multiple Dominion occupations of the station for proof of that point. This is a distraction from the larger issue at hand. The problems represented here are larger than a single world or a single wormhole. The Federation has never made a policy of preventing member worlds from overseeing their own interests in conjunction with Federation efforts. Or is Bajor going to be treated differently than other member worlds? 
We can't have an open and honest conference unless all parties are willing to engage in meaningful dialogue without shutting out members of the galactic community. Neither Bajor nor Cardassia should be excluded. Well said. Perhaps there's hope for this conference yet. I'm quite willing to put this disagreement behind us in the interest of the bigger picture. Thank you, Counselor. The preliminary tasks are complete. You should speak with Admiral Tubak again. Am I going to be able to stand on these or am I going to fall through? Nope, I'm falling through. <laughs> Thank you for your assistance. Please take the opportunity to speak with the various delegates. Having an understanding of the positions of each representative will facilitate more effective negotiations. Just a bit of a thought. How many trades still? Okay, okay. What is this? Oh, okay. Uh, who am I talking to? Oh. The Zindi are here to support Admiral Tuvok's call for cooperation. We know what tragedies befall a people who are being manipulated by outsiders, as we once were. The Undine's lies and manipulation remind us of the Sphere Builders, whose deceptions led us to make one of the greatest mistakes in our history. There are five races on my world. We all know reaching a consensus can be difficult, but the Zindi are living proof that if we put aside animosity, our differences can make us stronger. Thank you. Oh. Is wrong. The Federation's position is quite clear. We believe the only way to safeguard the future of the Alpha and Beta Quadrants is for all the galactic powers to behave as reasonable entities and work together to oppose those who would threaten our worlds. It doesn't matter if that threat comes from the Undine, the Borg, or the Iconians. The response is the same. That was unexpected, unexpectedly brief. Thank you, Ambassador. I sincerely hope that the Federation is not wasting our time here. If your presentation is to explain the threat posed by the Undine, let me spare you the effort. The Klingon Empire has been aware of this threat for quite some time now. Thank you, Ambassador. Thank you for the invitation. Starfleet certainly knows how to organize their meetings on a grand scale. I trust that the Republic will be able to take a leadership role in studying this sphere. The extensive knowledge we've gained from the Solonay sphere should give us an advantage here. And, after all, the gateway that leads to both of these spheres is in Republic space. That's not the only thing we need to decide here. What about the Undine? Yes, the Undine. Very interesting. My security advisors have been looking over the data, and we are all very curious to hear what you and Admiral Tuvok have to say on the matter. Thank you for attending, Proconsul. Please take a position at the podium. You've spoken with representatives of all of the delegations. You should return to Admiral Tuvok. We are almost ready to begin. Will you complete the final preparations for the conference while I speak to Captain Sean? After that, your assistance in encouraging everyone to take their seats would be appreciated. Understood. I'll finish the preparations and then direct people to their seats.
honestly standing on this would terrify the hell out of me. Because I'm pretty sure this is just a force field. Ooh. How oh, nice. There are a lot of constellations. Ah, it seems the time has come at last. Thank you for the reminder. You're welcome, counselor. This way. <laughs> oh well. I was just going. Don't rush me. Thank you for taking your seat. Oh, yes, I will take my seat. Thank you. I suppose we can begin. Thank you for taking your seat. You can start the presentation from the control console. The Undine represent a clear and present danger to not only the Federation, but also the Klingon Empire and Romulan Republic. The damage done here by a mere handful of ships is clear evidence for the need for cooperation. With respect, Admiral, the Romulan Republic is quite capable of leading exploration and security measures here, just as we have led efforts to secure the Solene Sphere. My militia. I find it interesting that the Federation suddenly has concerns about the Undine now. Where was the Federation when the Empire discovered Undine infiltrators in the Alpha Quadrant? Nor is the Federation only interested now. The Undine threatens something you want. Given the exceptionally complicated nature of such... Ambassador, given what we now know, that was a mistake. The Empire recognized the Undine threat years ago. We didn't. You admit you are wrong? The evidence provided by Admiral Tuvok and his team is sound. Thank you, Captain Sean. However, dwelling on past mistakes will not solve the problems of the present. Our fleet stands ready to protect both spheres from the Undine. The Undine can wait. We have more important business to discuss. Who owns this sphere? I represent a consortium of businessmen on Ferenginar. We are prepared to invest significant venture capital into transforming this sphere into a vacation destination to rival Risa. I have a proposal of half a million bars of... What's that? To Vok to Voyager, report. A, a massive fleet of Undine vessels just appeared from a rift. They're setting a course for the gateway. The Undine? What do they want? Unknown. Direct to Lisette. Track their course. Enterprise to Captain Sean. We're receiving a distress signal from Earth's space dock. Sean to Federation fleet. Red alert. Prepare for immediate departure. The Federation is our enemy. But the Undine attack like assassins in the night. We will crush the comic coup. A significant Undine force is headed for the Sol system. We must stop the Undine from breaching Earth's defenses. <clears throat> Ooh. 
Species 8472 has already boarded Earth's space dock. Once we are through the gateway, we must render assistance as soon as possible. This is a mess. I am picking up several distress calls from across the system. Curious. There are fewer Undine vessels than we witnessed using the gateway. Any word from Starfleet Command? Negative. The subspace relay booster network appears to be offline. I am reading Undine ships attacking Earth's space dock, as well as attacks on the lunar colonies and the orbital habitat on the far side of Earth. We need to split our forces if we're going to stop the Undine in multiple locations. Agreed. Enterprise will clear the area around the lunar colonies. Understood. We'll head toward Earth's space dock. Fine. Jarok and I will clear the far side of the planet. Good hunting. Enterprise will set course for Luna. The force oh, and the set will lead the fight on the far side of Earth. What the hell is this wreckage too? Because this clearly isn't uh, part of ESD. Unless... Oh, this might be the other space dock that you uh, see on the other side of the planet. Or maybe it is. Or maybe it isn't, I mean. Oh, there's a satellite right there. Yeah, this would have had to have been part of a space station that got exploded.
Wait, I have dealt anti-proton damage? Is that what that just said? Also, I'm a little bit curious about something. Uh, hang on. Hello? Also, I'm a little bit curious about something. Oh, okay. Just wanted to check my audio real quick. Oh god, where am I going? That's an ally gone. Oh right, I don't think that actually works on a Dreadnought, <laughs> now that I think about it. Did the Dreadnought just disappear? That's a bit weird. Oh, wait, was that it? What? Any ships still in range? There are undine hunting parties on Earth's space dock. We're, we're fighting them, but comms are spotty. I was lucky to get an external signal working. We need any assistance you can spare. What happened? Where's the rest of the fleet? There are undine ships attacking key sites across the quadrant. Our ships are responding to everything they can, but we're stretched thin. When the undine arrived here, they damaged every ship in the system, hit the orbital platforms, and then most of them just left. Automated defense systems are offline. We're struggling just to keep control of the station. We'll render what assistance we can. I've received orders from New Romulus. In light of this situation, the Lisette is being recalled to defend the homeworld. I will contact you if there is any change. Understood. Admiral Tuvok, recommendations. The boarding parties on Earth's space dock should be our main concern. The Undine will be attempting to cripple Starfleet operations, gain valuable data, and capture ranking officers. We cannot afford to allow them to succeed. I am prepared to beam down immediately. Your assistance will greatly improve our chances of success.
Earth space dock has sustained severe damage from multiple Undine boarding parties. We must locate Admiral Quinn. Hey, look, it's the old... The most uh, expedient path to the Admiral's office is through those doors. Our mission objectives are clear. We must ascertain the whereabouts of Admiral Quinn and expel all Undine boarders. Teams from other ships, including some Klingon and Romulan vessels, have beamed to lower decks here on the station. While their willingness to assist us is unexpected, their desire to see this enemy stopped is gratifying. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, was. Hey, look at this. It's the old ESD interior. I've seen it in videos, but I wish I would have seen it in, uh... Um, when I started playing. Because when I started playing, they had already changed the interior. Doesn't he go meow? Yep. <laughs> meow. Everything hurts. What? Who? Admiral Tuvok? What happened here? I don't... What? The windows. They came through the windows walking down the hall. I don't know. After the board attack during the cadet cruise, I... I thought working on Earth's space dock would be less... Okay, well, it sounds like they changed the audio a bit where they're talking about the Borg attack on the cadet crews rather than and just left out the Klingon one. Yeah, um, this guy right here, I think he's the uh, transporter chief. Uh, I think, in uh, the cadet cruise for the Starfleet tutorial. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure th uh, that's who he is. He seems very rattled, Admiral. What can we do? Indeed. I can initiate a mind melt. It will calm him, and I will be able to learn what he knows about the attack. This is not normally something I would suggest, but I believe that in this instance, it is necessary. Do what you need to do. I'll keep watch. My mind to your mind. My thoughts to your thoughts. What? Who's attacking me? Oh no. Oh, okay. There he is. I guess he's not talking anymore. I... I'm feeling better now, thank you. The Undine, yes. They just appeared in close orbit. We were taken by surprise, and none of the defense systems worked. I... I don't know why. They've been... killing people. I don't know what they want, but they've been systematic about their attacks. They want something. Come with us. We'll get... Oh, wait. No, I heard that. Come with us. We'll get through this together. There is more going on with these boarding parties than mere distance. Phaser fire. There are more Starfleet officers fighting nearby. More survivors! We need to manually activate the fire suppression systems. I think I see the correct panel for the fire ex extinguishers. I thought Earth Space Dock would be a quiet assignment. Be cautious. There are more Undine nearby. These are some interesting fire extinguishers. 
No! He died somehow. And I don't think he was even wearing any red. Well, actually, no. Uh, I forgot. Security forces have uh, uh, yellow instead of red. So maybe he's wearing yellow, and that's uh, ye yellow is the new red. Right. Oh, don't heal, you son of a bitch. Wait, we're below the... main hangar area? Is that what I'm looking at? No, we're supposed to be inside that. Hmm. Admiral Tuvok, I'm going to help hold this position. I'm not much of a soldier, but I can make repairs and help keep this area clear of unused. I hope Admiral Quinn is okay. He was on comms a few minutes ago, but the transmission was cut off. We'll find Admiral Quinn. Stay safe. Be cautious. There are more Undine nearby. I'll stay here. Good luck. The damage is extensive, but we will rebuild. First, however, we must drive Species 8472 back to fluidic space. Are you really below the main docking area? does not seem right to me. Admiral Quinn. The shape-shifting nature of species 8472 makes them a dangerous foe. We will have to proceed with caution to avoid being caught unaware again. Clearly, Admiral Quinn is not here. He may be still alive elsewhere on the station. The logical course of action amidst so much chaos will be to re-establish the chain of command. i have open to suggestions. How should we proceed? Perhaps we can establish more reliable communications by directly linking to the Starbase's internal systems. The consoles here can be used for that purpose. Make the attempt. I will keep watch for more Undine. Understood. Understood. I'll link the internal comms. I will cover you. Who is this? Communications are damaged. One moment. This is Admiral Quinn. How do I know you're the real Admiral Quinn? I suppose that's a valid question. You reported to me after the attack on Vega Colony. I took a chance on promoting you. I see now it was the right one. 
Admiral Tuvok, we spoke briefly about your mission right before you reported back to Voyager. You mentioned your wife and said it was fortunate you had time to visit Vulcan to see T'Pel before the conference. Well, that's sort of accurate. <laughs> I mean, at least he didn't say I was involved in the attack on Vega Colony. I believe you, Admiral. Admiral, what is your status? I'm pinned down in my office with Egan. We've been trying to get internal comms and sensors working. What's your status? Not good. We have a lot of casualties. The Undine boarding parties appear to have some goal in mind, but we are unsure as to what it might be. Admiral, I suggest you hold your position. We will make our way to you. We'll be there soon, Admiral. Stay alert for more imposters. There are still more Undine on the station. I can feel their anger. What is this, Star Wars? I can feel your anger. Take your weapon. Strike me down with all of your hatred. Yeah, and that right there used to be his office, as I recall from uh, videos I've seen. Admiral Quinn and Commander Egan are below. The Admiral appears to require medical treatment. Received and I proton damage. That it might have been what it was. To see you, Admiral. Oh no, the Admiral's dazed. Hang in there, Admiral. He just randomly fell over. Can I? What the fuck? I think the game got a bit of a head, uh, a bit ahead of itself there. Did I miss with the ship at all? Floor here. What is all this? Thank you. Now maybe we should. Commander Egan. Egg. Egg. Where are you going? One moment, Admiral. Intriguing. 
The amount of resistance Starfleet has offered is unexpected. That being said... The weak will perish! And you are weak! <laughs> Looks like somebody just randomly stood back up. In an old uniform as well. Ah, there he is. He's back now. What the hell was going on with my phaser in there? Looked like I was shooting the ground. He is tapping into the bio ship's power matrix. Can I? Can I even do anything about this? No, I can't. This is a friendly target. Why? Why can't I do anything with that? Leave Tuvok alone! Cracking eggs. Uh, Egan was an Undine? That would explain what happened to our defense grid. He would have known they were coming, and had ample opportunity to sabotage us. Damn, I didn't see that coming. What are your orders, Admiral? Hagen, it's hard to believe. He attacked me mentally, let everyone into a trap. I couldn't stop him. We have much to consider. There may be... Tuvok! What's going on? Tuvok! Can you hear me? Tuvok! Tuvok! Hello, Tula. Egan was too weak. He spent too much time among humans. He served his purpose, and you will be far too late. Too late for what? Your quadrant will fall. The weak will perish. This dimension will be cleansed, purified of infestation. Your efforts are meaningless. I know your thoughts to fog. Indeed, Doctor. But I have taken advantage of this connection to look into your mind as well. What? I understand now what your plans are. You will not succeed. You can't stop us! Tuvok! 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 Admiral Tuvok! Admiral! Diversion. This was all a diversion. What do you mean? Kronos. Their real target is Kronos. Captain Corrin. Come. Kronos may not have much time. The Federation and the Empire have been at war for far too long. Now we must join together for the common good. Ishimura, one to beam up. Lay in a course for Kronos. Maximum warp.
Reinforcements are on their way. The Romulans have promised additional aid, as has Starfleet Command. The Enterprise is contacting all available ships and... It... Words are meaningless. Deeds show the true heart of a warrior. Join me if you are not as cowardly as the rest of the Federation. Today is a good day to die. We're here to fight. More ships are on their way. Also, I just kind of know something about my heart bar. My heart bar. Uh, I'm probably about to get attacked here. I always end up checking my traits just in case. Because I've had them disappear on me randomly. allies. We are here to honor them. Look at that, just one Romulan ship and two Federation ships. What do you have to say about that, Captain Corrin? Oh, God damn it. Uh, I hate these gravity wells. Or rifts, I mean. The orbital defenses alone will not be enough to stop the Undine advance. We would not be alone if anyone in the Federation had the heart of a warrior.
What is going on with that torpedo behind me? My apologies for being late. Just one more ship? Not exactly. We brought a few friends. This is Admiral Venetra. I'm taking command of the task group. Follow my lead. Oh, sorry, Enterprise, I just fired that right at you. So the Enterprise isn't part of my team. Because it's a uh, blue instead of gray. Hmm. A bit closer, and now I can use this. Apologies to the KDF. I literally opened a rift right on their station.
is that thing? The Undine have brought a large craft through a quantum singularity. They're powering up weapons! The Undine have a new planet killer! Target that ship, and fire all weapons! No effect! They're too strong! Voyager has one nanite torpedo remaining from her time in the Delta Quadrant. Such devices proved effective against the Undine in the past. Tactical. Fire when ready. <laughs> you know, I think the newer cutscenes are... They took some damage, but the planet killer can still fire. A lot better than these ones. I can get the Aquarius ones. into firing position above her and exploit the opening in her shields, but someone will need to keep the Undine distracted. Weapons are offline. This is our only chance. Setting the Aquarius on a collision course. Acknowledged. Do we have Sean's coordinates? Getting locked now, sir. Did it, sir? The planet killer has been destroyed. Tuvok to Allied fleet. Stand down. The Undine are retreating. Captain Sean. Transporter room. Did you get him? We have. Captain Sean to Admiral Tuvok. Permission to come aboard? Oh God! It is dark in that transporter room. Yeah, they really need to update these old cutscenes. Klingon High Council wishes to discuss the most recent developments. We have been invited to transport directly to the High Council chambers. There are many here who have seen the danger Species A472 presents with their own eyes for the first time. 
Thank you for your assistance in protecting both Earth and Kronos from the Undine. However terrible, this battle did have one benefit. Today's fight opened the door to what may be a lasting peace between the Federation and the Empire. Now we must have the courage to compromise for the greater good. In its way, that can be more difficult than waging war. The formalities will begin soon. Until then, I must take the time to speak to others who were instrumental in the success of this mission. We face great threats, but we will also celebrate great victories. That was a close one, but I'm fortunate Voyager transported me off the ship at the last second. It would have been a worthy sacrifice. Kronos is too important to lose. Glad you're still here, Captain. A true peace may not be on the table yet, but I hope we can at least broker a lasting armistice. But first, we celebrate today. Earth and Kronos are safe. Thank you, Admiral. You have shown your true nature today. Worf was correct. There is honor in the Federation. The conflict between us has gone on long enough. Now we should turn our blades toward the real enemy. I remember you from the Gateway Activation. You fought well today. May our meetings on the battlefield always be as glorious. Thank you, Captain. I served in Starfleet, and now I serve the Empire. There are many on both sides of the current conflict for whom I have deep respect. I see this as an opportunity. We may find we have more in common than we realize. Angry, Ambassador. Our people come from a culture of deception and division. We've rejected our past in favor of open alliances. Perhaps it's time for the Federation and the Empire to set aside their past as well. We would welcome a ceasefire between our allies. Thank you, Proconsul. Earth and Kronos are safe, and the Romulan Republic is pleased to assist its allies. I just wish my father could see all of us working together toward a common goal. This is the future he dreamed of. Thank you, Commander. The five races of the Zindi once tried to exterminate humanity. But through the efforts of a few people who were willing to change, we put aside our weapons and worked through our differences. Now, we are members of the Federation. Peace came with great difficulty, but that is the way of most things worth having. The Undine are here, and they're spreading lies and dividing us from within. Now, more than ever, we need to set aside our animosities and work together for the greater good. Thank you. What's with the red? I was saying there's enemies on the other side of this door here. Or are they destroying these people as enemies? That's a bit silly. My people have respected the Federation ever since our first encounter with your famed Captain Kirk. I have advised Chancellor Jimpok that the Gorns support the idea of a ceasefire. Perhaps this will lead to greater freedom for all of us. Thank you, Ambassador. I admit I did not expect the Federation to act with such honor. I do not know what the final decision of the High Council will be, but rest assured that the Undine will pay. We will hunt down every last Kameku and destroy them for what they have done here today. Helping Kronos was the right thing to do.
You fought well for someone from Starfleet. Thank you. Many fine warriors have earned their places in Stovacor today. They died with honor, fighting one of our most formidable enemies. The Undine brought the battle to our very threshold. The fine warriors standing before me pushed them back. Let us honor our sacrifices and our accomplishments by ending... And there is no one who can... We give you a single warning to not attract our attention again. What was that? That was... that was the reason we need to work together. It's time for our feud to end. Agreed. From this day forward, all hostilities between the Empire and the Federation will cease. Oh god, what, 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 what? <laughs> The Iconians use servitor races and other species to do their fighting for them. Species A-472 has been an unknowing cat's paw of the Iconians for some time. This time, however, the Undine were defeated, and it was our combined strength that allowed us to prevail. Thousands of years ago, the Iconians were defeated by an alliance of races. I predict their ultimate aim has been to prevent such an alliance from happening again. But the conflict between the Federation and the Empire is over. There have been periods in our combined history when the Federation and the Empire have not been at war, but they have not been allies either. This may be the beginning of such a time. It will be up to us to determine what happens next. With time, we may even restore the alliance that came out of the Kittimer Accords. What happens now? Voyager will return to the Delta Quadrant. There is much to do there and the Janolan Sphere will need to be protected from further Undine assaults. I am sure I will see you again. You have been a worthy ally, and your wisdom and courage will be called upon in the days ahead. Until then, live long and prosper. Until next time, Admiral. Ishimura, one to beam up. I didn't mean to interrupt him there. My bad. Your service has quite literally saved the Quadrant as we know it. Both Earth and Quonos will rebuild in the wake of these terrible attacks. And a new day dawns for the Federation. One where we may someday re-establish the, the once strong alliance we had with the Klingon Empire. Starfleet and I can't thank you enough. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're angling for my job. Uh, I would rather not have your job. I would prefer to be on a starship rather than a space station. Thank you very much. In the meantime, though, it's clear that the Iconians and the Undine are not waiting for us to act. I think our galaxy just got a whole lot smaller. What do I have? 
Oh god, a low level kit. A low level a blah, 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 blah. A low level kit. Um I'll grab this then. Not now. Let me deal with my kit situation. There we go. Kobayashi Maru? This is the Kobayashi Maru. How may we assist you today, Captain? I guess that's somebody's, uh, Ishimura right there. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. Cute. Very cute. You can actually play as that ship. But it's not... It's not even tier 6, it's just a regular, I, I don't even know what tier it should be. Yeah, right here. Oh, the interior has a number of amenities, including a trade duty officer assignment contact, which is not standard of most starships. Both you and your allies can access the trader. Also assigned to the freighter interior is a quartermaster. The quartermaster can sell you and your allies commodities at a discounted rate. A similar discount applies when you want when you make any energy credit purchase while on board your ship. For instance, from sector space, um, the interior also includes oh also accesses the bank, exchange, and mail. Ooh, the exchange as well. That's cool. Uh, has access to a secure subspace channel to call a security transport ship. Security transport will allow you to access prisoner transfer and contraband assignments. It's not a combat support vessel and can only be called when in sector space. Finally, the Kobayashi Maru freighter comes with a transwarp drive that will allow you to access the furthest corners of the quadrant. Transwarp drive will allow you to instantly access mo most exploration clusters. Note, like many older transwarp drives, the freighter's transwarp has a small chance to fail. Oh dear. So they're not designed as combat vessels. They come with minimal armaments designed only to ward off pirates and off-world uh, and other would-be threats. Yeah, so I guess it's kind of like a level one ship, but uh, you could probably do missions on it if you were uh, really daring, but I, I wouldn't. <laughs> So now we have the Delta Quadrant. So I think what I'm going to do is this and this one, and then I think I want to switch games. Uh, maybe uh, play more sport, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. Since it's been a while since I've uh, worked on the Sith Warrior. I don't know. We'll see. The activation of the gateway at the heart of the Solonade Dyson Sphere has given us access to another Dyson Sphere, originally found near the Janolan system. That is now located deep in the Delta Quadrant. The Romulan Republic, the Federation, and the Klingon Empire have put aside their differences in order to unite against common enemies but they need skilled captains and crews willing to join the fight. Travel through the gateway and... Yeah. Delta Quadrant!
Coming hail from Voyager, sir. On screen. Welcome to the Janolan Dyson Sphere. The situation in the Delta Quadrant is continuing to develop. We will need the assistance of all our allies to stay ahead of it. Thank you for this opportunity. I look forward to serving with you. Now I beam to Delta Command. Yes, to this thing. Let's just head on over then. Yeah, I remember this place. I remember being able to get on top of that thing. I wonder if you still can. I highly doubt it. Oh, oh. They probably fixed it like they uh fixed the thing with yeah, I can't get up there. there. Used to be a thing on ESD where you could get on top of the uh Oh my god. It's Admiral Janeway. Well this is new. Used to be uh Burgess, I think? The intel, uh, the intelligence officer you talk to when you go through the Briar Patch during the Klingon War. Interesting. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant. There's something interesting I'd like you to look into. What is your role here, Admiral? Officially? There's a joint effort aimed at establishing a new presence in the Delta Quadrant. While I was captain of the Voyager, I learned a lot about this part of the galaxy. Command felt I'd be a valuable part of our efforts here, and I agree with them. And unofficially? We need to find out where things stand, especially with some of the more aggressive factions in the Quadrant. There used to be a lot of distance between Delta and our neck of the galaxy, but now? Thanks to a pair of Dyson spheres and an Iconian gateway system, the Delta Quadrant might as well be next door. I'd like to make sure we're all going to be good neighbors. There's something interesting I'd like you to look We have a problem in the Silurin system. Admiral Tuvok is there on Voyager, and he's calling for backup. Rendezvous with Tuvok and provide any assistance he requires. There's something interesting I'd like you to look into. All right, you turn to the ship. It is nice that they have Admiral Janeway in this now. Oh my god, it's a mirror Connie. Sort of. They have the whole... The, they have the uh, main engineering hall wrong. But the saucer section is... Right? Oh, as well as the... Pylons as well. So, I can exit this way or I can exit this way. I think exiting this way gives me a cutscene. And I remember when this released. It's been 32 years since Voyager finished its journey. We thought we had left the Delta Quadrant behind us. We were wrong. The gateways to the Quadrant are open. And the choices we made have long-lasting effects. Now, we will help the friends we left behind. And fight the rising darkness. Voyager's first trip through the Delta Quadrant was a solitary one. We must return to set things right. This time, we must unite to survive. Alright. That's a sphere.
computer making that humming noise? It's loud. Tuvok is waiting for you in the conference room. Oh, hello, Vanzel. Welcome aboard. And if I may say so, it's good to see you again. Between Doomsday Devices and the Delta Quadrant, it looks like we get all of the interesting assignments. If you'll come with me, I'll take you to Admiral Tuvok. He wants to see you right away. Denzel! I hadn't expected to see you again. It's good to see you too. Someone decided that with our experience with that, uh, borrowed bird of prey, I'm the perfect person to handle joint operations with the Klingons out here in the Delta Quadrant. I even got a promotion, as you can see. Can you fill me in a bit more on what's happened, uh, about the, more on what's been going on here? What would you like to know? Do you know why Admiral Tuvok requested me? The Admiral is trying to track down Dr. Cooper. He thinks that Cooper is the key to this conflict with the Undine. He hasn't explained why yet, but he says that your assistance is crucial. What would you like to know? What's the situation in the Delta Quadrant? Unstable, but not totally out of control. The Borg have suffered setbacks on multiple fronts. They're being pressed hard by the Voth, the Undine, and various liberated elements. The Voth are mostly bottled up in their home space and in the Solene Dyson Sphere. We've established some connections with a few of the locals, such as the Kobali and the Talaxians. Of course, there are still troublemakers out here. The Kazon, the Herogen, the Malon, and there's a new power player we're very concerned about. Whoever they are, they're picking off systems left and right. Even the Krenim weren't a match for them. We need to find out who they are and what they want. I wonder what ever became of the Vidians. What would you like to know? What? Uh, why bring Voyager out here? The ship is 30 years old. Voyager spent seven years in the Delta Quadrant, and during that time many of her systems were optimized to deal with the hazards out here. This old girl's still got a few tricks. Besides, Admiral Tuvok specifically brought Voyager out for this mission, and what the Admiral wants? the Admiral gets. What would you like to know? Let's go. Sorry we don't have time for a tour, but the Admiral insists he needs to speak with you right away. The Admiral is waiting for you in the ready room. Greetings. Thank you for coming so promptly. We do not have much time, and I require your assistance. What's going on? I am still under telepathic assault by the Undine we know as Cooper. He has found some means to greatly increase his psionic power, and I cannot withstand his assault indefinitely. I will need your help to repel Cooper's attack and counter him. You must be under a great amount of stress. What else do you need to know? What do you need me to do? I have been able to deflect Cooper's attacks thus far, but I require assistance to repel him and gain any useful information. I propose initiating a Vulcan mind mill through which you will be able to enter my mind and aid me against Cooper. That sounds dangerous. What else do you need to know? Uh, wouldn't it be better to seek the aid of a psionic master? Your prior experiences with Cooper should allow your subconscious mind to hone in on him. An outsider who has never encountered him before would have no such connection and could never hope to find him. I'll try to do what I can. What else do you need to know? I'm ready. My mind to your mind. Your thoughts to my thoughts. What's 
going on? There's no sign of Tuvok or anyone else. It looks like I'm alone in the mindscape. Why would the sick bay door be locked? Maybe it begin maybe it can be overwritten. Oh my god, God of War! So that console is freaking out right here. The console is also locked out, but maybe the emergency medical hologram can answer some questions. Computer, activate the emergency medical hologram. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Oh, he says that anyways. Doctor, I seem to be confined to sick bay. Can you override the door lockout for me? Mm -mm -mm. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? First, I need to make sure you're not contagious or suffering from any injuries. This will only take a moment. I'm fine, Doctor. Really. I need to get to engineering. Don't be difficult. I'm only doing my job. Engineers and captains, always in a hurry to get out of sickbay. Doctor, it's crucial that I leave sickbay. I need to find Tuvok. You're not going anywhere. Doctor's orders. Doctor! Enemy target on oh my god, the doctor's shooting me! Oh god! Can you hear me? Come speak to me at the desk terminal. The mine meld was successful. Excellent. I am currently trapped in the ready room. For the moment, I will only be able to communicate with you remotely. Cooper is working to subvert my mental defenses, and I must focus my concentration on keeping my mind intact. So I need to liberate you from your ready room. No. Cooper is trying to erode my emotional control. Symbolically, this means that he must destroy Voyager. To do so, he is attempting to overload the warp core must proceed to engineering to stop Cooper from destabilizing the warp core. If he is successful, he will have broken down my mental control systems. Once the core and my mind are protected from Cooper's attacks, then we can take control of this mindscape. Take the pad from the doctor's office. I will use it to communicate with you as you proceed. Why do I need the pad? Why not use our communicators? Remember, objects have symbolic significance in this mindscape. As an outsider in my mind, your ability to communicate with me directly is limited. Your communicator is part of your mind, and so it cannot interact with me directly while Cooper tries to keep us separated. The pad is part of my mind, so I can use it to bridge the gap between us. Strange, but I suppose we don't have time to get into the metaphysics of this. The mind meld was successful. Excellent. No. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? Good. Now we will be able to remain in contact. Proceed to engineering. I don't know if there was anything different there. Examine the Omega Protocol. This console is locked due to Omega Directive. Computer, explain the Omega Directive. The Omega Directive is a set of regulations automatically activated when the ship encounters Omega Particles. Only the ship's captain can countermand the directive. Information regarding Omega particles and the Omega directive is classified. Computer, release Omega lockdown. Authorization, Venetra, Kestra, Admiral. Unable to comply. Omega directive lockdown may only be released by ship captain in the captain's ready room. Oh, God. Cooper is attempting to subvert my mental defenses by replacing my memories with engrams from his bioship. Until he is expelled, these kinds of incursions will continue. You may see strange items or distortions in your surroundings. Ignore them and proceed as best you can. Remember Kiri Kinthal's first law of metaphysics. Nothing unreal exists. Understood. You're not part of our crew. Yeah, 
You're right, I'm not. Engineering. Cooper is trying to overload the warp core. You must keep it stable. Oh, uh, now that wall is just really obvious all of a sudden. Look at that. Because of the color of the floor and such. The mindscape is a simulacrum. Cooper may move elements to suit his needs, or try to stop you. Certain areas may be blocked or damaged, or even transformed. Do your best to reach your destination. Cooper cannot simultaneously attack an area and conceal it. I see. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This area is very dangerous. The core is unstable. Where's the chief engineer? Vilana, I don't know. She should be here, but as far as I can tell, everything on Voyager is about to fall apart, and I'm the only one here. Stay back. I'm going to put a force field around the core while I try to stabilize it. It won't contain a core breach, but it might block some of the radiation that the magnetic stabilizers give out. I can stop the core breach. Let me assist. I've almost got this. Just keep back. It will only take a few more minutes. And then we can solve th this more effectively if we work together. You are stupid, aren't you? Only people the Vulcan melded with should be here. Not everyone on Voyager is part of Tuvok's warped little subconscious. Some of us are far more... exceptional. Anton Kim, step away from the warp core controls. I'll destroy you. And Tuvok's mind with you. Raised defenses to protect himself. Use one of the engineering consoles to press your attack. Can I? Oh god damn it! It's pointing the wrong way. You can't raised stop. defenses to protect himself. One of the engineering consoles to press your attack. Can I get it in time? Yeah! Quickly use the controls to restore the warp core. This will strengthen my mental defenses. Excellent. With my mental defenses stabilized, we should have additional time to fend off Cooper's intrusion. Head to the crew decks. Inside of my memories exist fragments of personalities from any person with whom I have previously experienced a mind melt. You may be able to find someone whose personality is not wholly part of my mind, and thus not susceptible to Cooper's influence. I'll find someone to help on the crew decks. Oh god. Ugh, that was gross looking. Move through the crew decks to your right. You may be able to find a fragment of a personality who can help. People with whom I have previously melted have left impressions of their chakras in my mind. You may be able to convince one to assist you. Because they are not technically me, Cooper's ability to subvert them may be limited. I'll keep an eye out for anyone who might be able to help. Isn't there another car like a uh, person here? Besides you? That looks like there was two doors that just opened there. There's like weird screams in the background that kind of make me think a little bit of Dead Space, but... What is happening? Not what am quite. I doing here? Who are you? I require specifics. Answer me! Voyager is in danger from Species 8472. We need to liberate Tuvok. He's being held locked... He's being held in the... He's being held locked in the ready room. No reason to trust you, but this seems familiar somehow. 
Why am I in the crew quarters? I should be in my regeneration alcove. Tuval can explain. Here. He can communicate through this pad. Seven. You are currently experiencing an engrammatic regress as a result of a Vulcan mind meld. You must assist me in reasserting control over the meld. I am currently locked in the ready room next to the bridge. Exercise caution as species 8472 has subverted the vessel. Let's go to the bridge and help Tuvok. That is Borg technology. But the presence of the Collective will not dissuade us. Assimilation is irrelevant. Oh look, more assimilated Undine. of the unconscious fears of species 8472. Yeah. Oh, you're here. Let's just get this over with. Oh, you son of a bitch. I will secure the bridge while you release Tuvok. Oh, come on. With Cooper defeated, he should no longer be able to maintain the telepathic link with my mind. For the time being. We must end the mind meld and consider our next course of action. Now that we have removed Cooper's influence, it is time to break the link between he and myself. I agree. It's time to end this. With Cooper's attack temporarily halted, we are in a position to slow the advance of his Undine forces. Please accompany me to the bridge. Lead the way, Admiral. This isn't right. I didn't know it was a cosplaying holiday. We still do not have a fix on Cooper's whereabouts. I will contact Starfleet for any current information about Undine movements. Use the sensors to check for their quantum signatures. Voyager's sensor array is currently calibrated for tracking Undine movements, so you should be able to garner results quickly. I'll handle. I'll handle the sensors. Are we not gonna like talk about this? Like how everyone changed their uniforms? Did, did we really not notice this? Well, what in the what part of the bridge has changed? Wow, the view screen. I guess wasn't loaded in. Is that what I'm seeing there? Wow, okay. That was weird. Also, USS Voyager. Probably read even more of that if it, if I wasn't so far away. You should return to your ship. While I am somewhat fatigued as a result of the mind melt, 
I believe that I can continue in my duties on Voyager while we plan our next steps. Tuvok, I'm getting an error from operations. The Omega Protocol lockdown is in effect. We must still be in the meld. Cooper is trying to deceive us. He needs to break the link cleanly, but lacks the strength to confront us directly. What do we do? You don't belong here. We should use the link to our advantage. If we can track Cooper through the link, we can then pursue him in the physical realm. Since the Mindscape deals in symbolic representations, we need a map to his location. We should proceed to Astrometrics. Let's go then. Cooper is trying to block your progress. Look for another path. In 2375, Voyager encountered a malfunctioning board vinculum that had been turned into a trap by species 6339. This vinculum caused other personalities from the Collective to surface in Seven of Nine. I entered a mind meld with her in an attempt to stabilize her personality. These people are echoes of the personalities of people assimilated by the board. They are not truly aware, knowing only that they desire to escape. It may be helpful to think of them as ghosts. Metaphorically speaking, of course. I'm not afraid of ghosts. Cooper is attempting to distort your path again. Keep searching. Cooper is definitely trying to send a message. Since we are making progress, keep searching. There's no force field, yet the atmosphere seems normal. That doesn't make any sense. Ding. All right. Check memory grid one two three uh, one two four octot twenty two theta. According to Voyager's logs, this is the location of Tuvok's previous mind meld with the Seven of Nine, when she suffered the forced intrusion of other minds taken by the Borg into her consciousness. The event was caused by her proximity to a damaged vinic uh, vinculum and is not consistent with the influence from the Undine. After Voyager left the Sobris system early in its journey home, Tuvok experienced a traumatic mind meld with crewman Lon Suter. At this time, Voyager had not yet encountered the Undine. Voyager Voyager encountered a Class 17 Nebula in 2373. At this time, Tuvok was suffering from an engrammatic 
virus and entered a mine meld with Captain Janeway so that the captain could help him trace and resolve the source of the virus, which extended to his tenure aboard the Excelsior under Captain Sulu. This is not related to the Undine incursion. The Necrit Expanse is an area of the edge of Borg space. It is located near the near an unstable corridor the Undine used to make incursions into our dimension. The quantum singularities in that area of, of space make it easily subject to incursion by the Undine. Logic suggests that this would be an ideal location for them to use as a fleet staging area. Time to end the meld and go find Cooper. Oh god. The meld is over, right? Let's just have a seat. Alright. This ordeal has taxed me mentally, but I must continue the mission. I have learned that Cooper is in fluidic space, in an area that corresponds to the location known in our dimension as the Northwest Passage. We must travel there and enter fluidic space to confront Cooper once more. He is aboard a special command bioship that he cannot abandon. If we catch him in fluidic space, we can force a final confrontation. Please join me on the bridge. I must focus my concentration on regaining my strength. I need you to enter our destination coordinates and make certain that there are no more surprises. View screen's gone again. Voyager will join you in the Northwest Passage. We'll leave as soon as you've returned to your ship. We need to hurry if we want to catch Cooper. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. This is a bug. <laughs> uh, I remember doing that with the Constitution class bridge. Very funny. Voyager will join you in the Northwest Passage. This area of space was labeled by Commander Chakotay as the Northwest Passage. It is a corridor of space that the Borg avoid because of the high incidence of quantum singularities, which the Undine use as points of transit. Voyager encountered the passage in 2373, and Captain Janeway chose to use it to travel through Borg space. This precipitated our first contact with species 8472. What do we need to do here? We must locate a quantum singularity that will lead us into the correct area of fluidic space. My suspicion is that Cooper is using this region as a staging ground for the massed Undine fleet, and his command bioship will be there as well. Approach each singularity and check its quantum wave signature. When we find the correct one, we will pass through. We'll probably have to engage the Undine ships first, and then scan the singularities. Stable.
This passage will work. Quickly, we must go through the portal. to reach Cooper's command bioship. According to my scans, he is using a modified dreadnought as a control vessel. Intriguing. Cooper's bioship appears to have nerve clusters, gyri, and structures typically associated with brain matter. While most bioships are organic, they are not aware. Rather, they are biological tissue operated by the Undine as tools. Cooper's vessel is different. It is possible that the ship is self-aware. This would explain the increase in Cooper's telepathic abilities. Not only is his command bioship able to coordinate the entire Undine fleet, acting as a brain for the other ships, but it also amplifies his psionic power. We must gain access to the ship directly. We will need to temporarily disable its shielding mantle, so we can fire upon vulnerable sections to disable it. Find and, disables, uh, find and disable Cooper's ship. Understood. You've come a long way. But as you can see, I am not unprepared for your arrival. <laughs> this command bioship is unique. It is capable of coordinating an entire fleet of bioships. A fleet that will launch from the structure you see here. Even if you attack me, I suspect you will find the sheer power of my new fleet to be overwhelming. We're not defeated yet. This must be like barnacles. Bioship is weak. We must beam aboard and locate Cooper while it is possible. There we go. <laughs> we are close to Cooper's position, but the bioship is blocking transport in the area closest to the central nexus. We must find control nodes 
that will allow us to enter the Nexus. As the ship is organic, we may be able to force it open by sending impulses through certain nerve endings, thereby causing a reflex reaction, much like a sneeze. Find the, uh, find the control nodes. Open the central Nexus. Got it. Oh my god, I'm coming out of the ceiling. Time to tickle the brain consoles. Right? No, I guess not. The muscles controlling this passage will not release. We will need to find control ganglia we can use to trigger a reflex response and open the door. Alright, the release has to be in here. Of course, this is right over here. Uh, tickle, tickle, tickle. Some more tickling. Tickle, tickle. Cooper should be in the chamber just beyond this door. If the ship has a mind, can you convince it not to fight us? An intriguing notion. I shall make the attempt. You must protect me from Cooper and his soldiers while I concentrate on the mind meld. When you are ready, we shall proceed. I'm ready. Start the meld. So why is Cooper in this form? I always found it strange that he would choose uh, his human form over his Undine form. Unless they're trying to make it like a... Make it... A changeling fight. Like how you... Uh, like how it goes with the founders where they're in solid form and then they like eventually turn into liquid form the ship is resisting the meld I must move to another neural cluster Actually, no, now that I think about it, he stays in this form the whole time. So again, why did he, he use this form? from undine attacks while I concentrate. The ship is resisting the meld. I must move to another neural cluster. You must protect me from undine attacks while I concentrate. You must protect me from undine attacks while I concentrate. You must protect me from undine attacks I'm trying while I to. concentrate. 
What is happening? You! You did this! My mind to your mind. Communication established. Your thoughts to my thoughts. Why should we listen to the weak? You will perish when the Iconians complete their purge. To the Iconians, you are weak. We must survive. When we fight one another, we are weak. United, we are strong. No! Don't listen to him! We must see to our needs. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. The many must survive. We don't need them. The many will be strong. The strong will survive. They are weak. I will save us. You are weak. What? No! But together, we are strong. Bio Dreadnought has no intention of entering our space. Now we must return to our ships before the Undine retreat to their own fortresses in fluidic space. There are no signs of Undine pursuit. Whatever the intent of the remaining Undine forces, it seems that they do not involve our dimension. As a Vulcan, I am not given to personal displays. Nonetheless, we have shared a deep connection. We will always carry a part of this experience with us. In a sense, you have become a portion of my mental defenses. Part of the ship and crew that define the most challenging aspects of my existence. Our shared effort has prevented another Undine invasion, and incidentally allowed me to retain my sanity. Your contributions are appreciated. I must advise Starfleet Command of these developments. I am sure we will speak again. Until then, I am confident that events in the Delta Quadrant are in capable hands. Live long and prosper. Farewell, Admiral. Admiral Tuvok is safe, along with Voyager. That means a lot to me, personally and professionally. Thanks. Something tells me there's more to this than meets the eye. We'll be in touch if we learn more. There's something interesting I'd like you to look into. All right. And with that, we are done with Star Trek Online. Uh, for today, at least. Well, for now, I guess. We'll be moving on to something else next.